everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Do you believe in Fun Shui? I do. At first, I was so skeptical because I am a Christian, but now I really believe in its magic. God said, help yourself and I will help you, and that's what I did. Fun Shui is the secret of most successful people in Asia. It is more than 3,000 years old, and these successful people use this secret to amplify their wealth, to stay powerful in their business, and its politics. They also use it to have recognition and fame, and it was forbidden to share it to the common people, but now this secret is revealed. Since the 1980s, this secret has started to spread in the West and now very popular around the world. But before we go on, it must be emphasized that Feng Shui is not a religion. It is more of a way of life. Today, millions of people are using basic principles of Feng Shui. People are knowing that decluttering is part of good Feng Shui. Using certain symbols can enhance your abundance. Whether you believe in the benefits of these symbols or not, these symbols are very beautiful to decorate your home with, or use them as personal ornaments. So there are assets of Feng Shui that have become common knowledge. But before I continue, be sure to subscribe if you are new to my channel, and don't forget to click on the bell button below to be notified each time I post a new video. Thank you very much. In this video, I am going to share to you, how I created my own altar at home, based on Feng Shui. There is so much that can be written about altars. In its essence, an altar is a special place designated to honoring the pure source energy in all its expressions, the spirit world, angels, gods, and goddesses, the universe, etc. It is a place for offerings, for prayers, make manifest, and for expressing gratitude for your life. An altar is also a way of expressing your presence, your unique energy on the web of life. It is an energetic declaration that you are participating in the mystery of life. So an altar becomes a universe of your own making. I have been creating altars in my home for a long time. It is hard for me not to create one if I see a good space for it. At the moment, I have five altars at home, where I still have my Christian belief on the highest level. altars everywhere because in spite of being a Christian, I do practice Feng Shui too, because I do believe that Feng Shui is not a religion, it is more of a way of life, knowing that decluttering is part of good Feng Shui. Using certain symbols can enhance abundance and good luck. While the concept of creating an altar can sound intimidating, I am sure you have done it at least a couple of times in your life. On an unconscious level. Every time you set beautiful pieces on your fireplace mantle or anywhere in your home, you are creating an altar. Anytime you play with different decor solutions until you find just the right one for your coffee table, you are creating an altar. We are already creating little altars in our home each and every time we group objects we love to create a happier home whether on a mantelpiece, a bedside table, or the coffee table, you have worked with this energy before, just perhaps unintentionally. 
orders can be generic, as well as specific when dedicated to a clear intent, whether it's the intent for better health, or to welcome love. All altars need energetic movement and care, so ideally, you would care for your altar daily. This can be as simple as lighting a candle, and slightly rearranging the items on your altar. It is the outpouring of your energy, that matters the most in creating and maintaining a powerful home altar. The key here is conscious creation. When you are creating an altar in your home with a specific intent in mind, and you lovingly care for it, your altar starts accumulating the power needed to support your dreams. If the concept of an altar is very new to you, I will give you the most important guidelines for creating an altar. And if you are a lover of creating altars, you might find some helpful ideas here too. The main thing to know about creating an altar in your home is that, there are no set, specific, or rigid rules for its creation. Your home altar is an expression of your own intent, and unique personal energy, so the more empowered you are in creating your own altar, the more power gets infused in it. While there are no strict rules for creating an altar, there are guidelines you can follow to make the altar creation easier. This can be very helpful if you have never made an altar before. Here are three basic steps to consider when creating an altar in your home. 1. The area. Decide on the area and the surface of the altar. Will the bedside table work best for your altar? How about that open area on your bookshelf? Maybe the window sill is calling for it. Is your fireplace mantle ready for a makeover? 2. The topic. Feel or decide on the main theme of your altar. Do you need more clarity in your life? More energy and vitality? Do you want to express and attract more love? The love altar? the gratitude altar and the connection and clarity altar are the most popular altar themes. You can also just let the topic evolve in the process of creating an altar. 3. Energy enhancers and tools It is always helpful to contain the energy of your altar as this makes its energy more powerful. In order to do that, you can place a beautiful piece of fabric, or a tray as an energetic foundation for your altar. Crystals and stones always bring powerful presence to any altar, and so do candles, flowers, specific images and sculptures, and special items from your nature walks. encourage you to create an altar to hold all your space clearing and smudging tools. You want to have a respectful, beautiful place to rest your smudge sticks or your sage branches between smudging sessions. You can also display on your altar any items connected to your smudging and space clearing sessions, such as a smudging fan or feather, an abalone shell, or a bowl, and a candle. Having them on an altar will not only infuse them with more power, but will also remind you to smudge more often. Crystals and stones are awesome feng shui additions to any altar and any home. All crystals bring powerful energy from deep within the earth, a quality of energy we daily need for our health and well-being. It is very important to know, though, that many crystals are colored, treated, and irradiated, especially some of the most popular ones such as smoky quartz and citrine. These treatments can change their properties and diminish the potency, so it is always best to buy raw, natural crystals. 
there are also many crystals that are synthetically made, and even though this caution applies mostly when buying jewelry, it can also apply to little carvings, or amulets you might buy for your home altar. The best way to benefit from the energy of crystals and stones, is to have them in their own form, meaning a cluster. A point. Orchard. If this is not possible for you, choose crystals in their tumbled form. It is important to cleanse your crystals when you first bring them home. Just like people, crystals can benefit from a good smudging session to clear all vibrations from places they have been before, unless you get one straight from the mine, which would have incredibly powerful energy right from the womb of Mother Earth. Any natural crystal or stone will be a joy to have on your smudging and space clearing altar, so in choosing crystals, it is good to be guided by your intuition. Some of the most helpful crystals to place on your smudging and space clearing altar are amethyst, black tourmaline, malachite, carnelian, and clear quartz. If you are drawn to a specific crystal not mentioned here, surely bring it home to your altar. The following crystals are just suggestions based on their properties, as well as the ease of obtaining them. Amethyst. Ranging in color from pale lavender to deep purple, amethyst is one of the most popular stones in crystal healing and feng shui. Amethyst is stunningly powerful and beautiful, easily available, and very affordable. Choose an amethyst cluster. Orchard if you need more peace and calm in your life, long for a deeper spiritual connection, and desire a slower, clearer, and nurturing energy in your home. Amethyst is also very helpful if you are trying to meditate, learn more about yourself, or connect to a higher source of wisdom. It is used for protection, intuition, spirituality, and helping to change bad habits or addictions. It vibrates at a high frequency, creating a bubble of spiritual protection against negative energy. Amethyst awakens higher consciousness and facilitates meditation and intuition. It can help you make wiser decisions, free of emotional confusion, increase your inner strength, and deepen your spiritual awareness. If you want to go deeper on this crystal, please read my blog. The link is on the description below this video. Black Tourmaline As a defender and protector of good energy, Black Tourmaline is an excellent addition to your smudging and cleansing order. It adds its energy to the already powerful cleansing energy accumulating around your altar. To benefit more from the strong, protective and cleansing energies of Black Tourmaline, you can wear it as jewelry such as bracelets, bits or pendants. It is also a good idea, feng shui, wise, to display a couple of black tourmaline stones close to the front door of your home. Black tourmaline is a favorite among people working with crystals and energy healing because it is so effective at both grounding and clearing. Black tourmaline can also help purify our mind and aura of negative thoughts and anxiety, making it useful for people with overactive minds. It is a powerful grounding stone, helping you get out of your head and into your body. It helps people feel connected to the earth, and have a sense of being at home in your body and on the planet. Furthermore, it can be placed near entryways for protection, and is recommended for empaths to wear daily. For more information about this crystal, please visit the link below. Carnelian The inspiring carnelian combines the energies of both fire and earth feng shui elements, making it an ideal stone for your altar. Ranging in color from gentle yellow to deep fiery orange, carnelian also promotes grounding, 
confidence, and a joyful outlook on life. This is a stone that can lend you the energy to break through limiting beliefs, and access your power in a calm and wise way. Carnelian is about action. By activating the first three chakras, Carnelian provides a powerful boost to your willpower, with the physical energy, and drive to back it up. If your heart wants something, Carnelian can give you the confidence and power to go for it. Clear Quartz The crystal of all crystals, Clear Quartz, will absorb and carry any energy you program it with, so you can program it to carry specific energy on your altar. You can display a Clear Quartz crystal cluster, a quartz wand, or just a couple of tumbled stones. The beauty of having several clear quartz tumbled stones on your smudging altar is that you can alternate them and carry one or two with you in your pocket or purse when you need to feel more protected. If you have not used your tumbled clear quartz for a while, do not forget to cleanse it before placing it back on your altar. This should be really easy, as all your smudging supplies will be right there on the altar. Clear quartz is also called crystal quartz, quartz crystal, or rock crystal. It can be found in natural crystal formations, or tumbled into beads. It is used for manifesting, meditation, and purification. Malachite Malachite is a stalwart protector and bolster of your strength and willpower. It helps you access your innate power and protects you from negativity as you take action in the world. The energy of this greener than green stone is cleansing and energizing. It can bring deep transformations, help open your heart, and encourage you to speak up and be braver. It is wonderful to display a malachite on your smudging and cleansing altar because it will keep moving energy on a subtle level and aid you in the transformation you desire. It is a grounding influence, helping you make wise decisions, and take responsibility for your health and well-being. Malachite is a classic protection stone. It can help you stay alert and avoid danger, as well as strengthen your boundaries, so you are not affected by negative energies. Furthermore, it also activates a kind of protective luck, increasing the likelihood of avoiding being in the wrong place at the wrong time or having helpful influences show up in the nick of time. This stone is used for confidence, empowerment, luck, and protection. blog about these crystals that's all for now guys thank you for watching before I end this video I just want to remind you once again that we have all the lucky charms and Feng Shui cures to help you attract money and abundance and even happiness please visit our online store the link is on the description below Remember, I am here to guide you, and share to you the things I know, not just for the money. I'll tell you the right charm to have, even if you want the most expensive one, if I think it is not suitable for you, then I'll let you know. I want you to have the right protection, the right charm or amulet that brings you good luck, and good fortune. If you buy the wrong one, you are only wasting your money. The only thing I want to know when you seek advice from me is your exact date of birth. Your Gregorian zodiac sign doesn't mean anything in Feng Shui. It is also important to note that planting good thoughts right from the beginning is very important for Feng Shui enhancers, 
and cures to work wonders. Enhancers and cures should be bought with a generous heart. Most who are buying Feng Shui products without genuine intention or generosity will not enjoy the benefits from the items they obtained. If you are stingy or not willing to spend that kind of money, then you should not buy the item. Generosity simply means willingness to obtain the item with your own money happily. Do not be greedy and never try to obtain a Feng Shui item through unscrupulous means. Such motive is considered a bad sin, which is considered as bad intention right from the start. This simply means programming bad energy into your items. Take note that if you have doubts right from the beginning about an item, meeting your own expectations, then you should not get it from the start. You are the master of your own life, no one is forcing you to buy anything. It is a common practice that the Chinese would normally buy their Feng Shui items with a willing heart, and refrain from doubting, condemning, judging, and challenging if they are well aware about the consequences of backfire. Remember, once you have negative thoughts, you are actually programming negative energies into your items, and they will go against the intended motive. Peace, love, and blessings to all. I wish everybody good luck, good health, and good fortune. May we have more blessings in life. That's all for now guys. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful and share it with your friends. If you want to know more about Feng Shui, please subscribe to my channel and get good Feng Shui in your life. See you on my next video. Goodbye.